Hey everyone, Sharier here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about dual tone effect. As you can see on the picture, it's Kanye West with this photo effect applied to the picture. So this dual tone effect has been out here for years, uh, but it has recently become pretty popular and trendy since the Spotify rebranding. So basically, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to apply this effect. It's very simple, very easy. Anyone can do it as long as you have Photoshop or any other photo editing softwares. But also, I'm going to show you and uh, give you the link to my resources, which are some gradients and uh, basically some colors and a Photoshop action that's going to give this or apply this effect in just about two seconds so yeah that's pretty much it so let's get started so here I have a picture of Kanye West as you can see this is the dual tone effect I have two other examples I want to show you so one is here which is Coldplay and uh, this is Alt J I guess uh, yeah and another one from Spotify, not that one, this one. So as you can see, these effects are, uh, well, basically dual tone means true color. So these effects are actually just uh, basically true colored photos, like black and white, except they're colorful. So I'm going to get started with this effect. Uh, I'm going to show you how to achieve this effect. It's pretty simple on Photoshop. All you need to do is go to image and click on adjustments. And here you'll get a lot of adjustment settings. Click on gradient map. And so gradient map, uh, this kind of looks negative. So uh, let me just reverse thing going here. Or, or not. Yeah. So, uh, this looks, uh, this is a gradient map. Basically what it does is applies a gradient over it and uh, it changes the tone of the image. So what you need to do is just edit the gradient. For example, I'm going to give this uh, brown color, like dark brown here. And this one, maybe red. Yeah. So this looks pretty cool. As you can see, this is the dual tone effect here are brown colors and red colors and this is this is like a gradient overlay to the picture so it's like another layer of color just over the picture it gives it a tone a colorful tone and it makes your picture look pretty awesome in my opinion so these type of pictures were used on the spotify rebranding and people got inspired people are interested they started making this effect on their photos and uh, it got pretty popular and uh, now it's kind of trendy right now so if you're watching this video you can totally try this out on your picture it would be awesome as well so anyways uh, basically now what I'm gonna explain it to you is how to get the most out of this effect and I'm going to show you my product, which is a Photoshop action. These are like automated uh, settings. So if you just want to click it, and it will do all the things that you need to do. Uh, what I've shown just now was just the basics of this effect. And I'm going to show you this action, which will give it a more complex kind of uh, tone, and which you can edit it, of course. And you know, maybe put some more stuff into it, make it complex, give it texture and stuff. So let's get started with that. Uh, I have three pictures right here on Photoshop. I'm going to put the first one. So this has a very light background. It's it's almost, it's white. So, uh, yeah, it's white and the picture is dark. It has high contrast to it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the action. Uh, before I do that, I want to show you what you might get when you get this action. So I'm going to go ahead to my 
folder, which is um, here. So here you're going to get this action and you're going to get a gradient file. There's a help file which will show you uh, how to install it and like what to do there. Uh, basically, if you're watching this video, you don't need this file. Uh, but uh, if you're not, then you can read the file and install it. Right? It's good. So uh, what you need to do at first is double click these two files and it will open in Photoshop. Uh, if you can see here, I selected the gradient and you can see all the gradients I've uh, installed here. It's from this file. So um, yeah, so there are 15 gradients right now. Uh, I'm planning on making more and these will get updated after I make more of them. So hopefully when you're watching this video, this might get up to 20 or 30 or 40 or something like that. So I'm planning on releasing more gradients and more colors for you to use. And uh, you can just download it again and it will update. Just download the gradient file and double click it and the gradient will be there. And you also need this action file. So after you double click it, go to Windows and open the action window. Uh, here are the tick marks, so if you click it, there will be a tick mark, and the action window will open. And after you've seen the action window, here you'll see the action. So the name is Dual Master Duotone Action. And once you've applied this action, just, uh, you know, if you haven't worked with actions before, what you need to do is select the action here, and then go to this triangle button right here which is play action so you play it and you'll see uh, a lot of layers applied to it uh, these are all adjustment layers these are done so that your uh, photo doesn't like uh, change or lose quality it's all non-destructive not like this edit or um, image adjustment thing we did last time uh, that kind of ruins your photo a bit you have to like uh, you know edit it more, so it kind of loses quality over time after you saved it and stuff like that. And you need to do a lot of undoes. But here you can just select this group and just press delete, and it will all go away and back to the original image. So um, yeah, so here we are. You apply this action, and you'll see that there's a group called contrast. And there are three other layers, and one layer which is just a duplicate of the original background there of the photo. So, what you need to do is click on this layer here, which is book gradient. You go here, and you'll see on the toolbar right here there's a one called properties. So, these are adjustment layer properties. You select this layer, and you go to this button, and it will come as a gradient map which we've shown earlier with seeing it. Uh, just basically click the gradient and apply one of the gradients I've given you on that file. So I'm gonna go with number two right here. I think that looks much better than the others. It looks kind of faded and it's a pink hue and it, it looks kind of sexy. So um, you can also go with other gradients. Just experiment. Just click each of the gradients and experiment it. Like this is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. So let's just go with this one. So this is uh, kind of violet uh, with a light blue indigo sort of color. And once you're done with that, there are four layers on the contrast. So these are for like how dark you want your image, like shadows and stuff. So uh, basically, I'm gonna go with. Uh, upper mid, upper mid kind of makes it bright and sh uh, like really bright. You can also change it like maybe low, low makes it kind of faded and stuff. But you can just experiment with different colors and different contrast levels. I've given four here. You can also change it if you want. Just you know, like experiment and get that effect that you dream of. Basically, if you know Photoshop or you know these adjustment layers, you can make it yourself. I really like try to motivate people to learn.
learn these things because it's really easy to get these effects, but people get confused when they see these. And so uh, I'm sure after practice with uh, like using adjustment there, she can figure out like what we when we see an effect on the internet. It's really easy to do these, and these are non-destructive. I highly recommend using adjustment layers, not the image adjustment ones, because those kind of ruins your photo and you have to press undo every time. So this one was with uh, light background and dark subject. Now uh, I'm going to show with the dark background and light subject, which is this portion right here. Uh, there's a lot of highlight in the middle and uh, it's dark on the borders. So let's apply this action right here. And it gets kind of dark. Uh, so I'm going to go with lower contrast here. So put gradient, put a gradient map, select colors. Um, let's see which one. Might, this one looks really good. Um, this one looks great too. This one, yeah. So this one is like a dark blue, navy blue color with a light red. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and I'm going to show you another example. It's this one. This one has a light background and a light subject. There's a lot less shadow than the other ones. So let's apply this action and see what we get. Uh, put gradient, then go to property gradient map. Let's look the first one right here. Is it's red and black. Uh, I like this color on this photo. Let's go with this one and lower contrast would give you a faded kind of look, like that Spotify thing. Or if you go with like upper mid, it gives you that you know like deep bright colors that both looks really good so basically that's about it uh this effect will be available on creative market hopefully when you see this video there's going to be a link on the description to this action where you can just download it from there and uh yeah i'm going to try to update it to more colors right now in this video there are 15 colors and I'm going to try to upgrade it to like 20 or maybe 40. And if you have any suggestions on making like uh, actions for other effects or improving this one and like uh, giving me color combinations or such to try out, and I'm just going to update these uh, based on your suggestions if they're good. So uh, try to give me suggestions. If you like this video, then like and subscribe to my YouTube channel get this uh, action on creative market uh, you might ask why get this instead of all the other actions that are available on the internet so what I'm gonna say is I've been really transparent with this action in this video and you can see all the stuff here if you're experienced enough you can make this yourself uh, but you know all that matters is that you just save time so uh, just try to think about that when you see an action on the internet, uh, like dual tone actions, you'll see that people make it like into a lot of actions, like 20 or 30 different actions, each for each colors. But here, I just made only one action, and I've applied different gradients to it. So in here, you just need to get like five clicks and you're done. But on those actions, you have to try each action once and see the effect then click it or, or like click on do or delete it and then click another action but here you can just go to put gradient go to properties and just select actions and it'll just preview like uh, you know like an instant so this really saves time for you I guess and if you uh, just save it and use other actions on top of it this really goes uh, you can like add more effects to it, like maybe add more texture. On a side note, I might add a few textures, uh, like with uh, extra actions that generates textures over it. So I might do this, but uh, no promises right now. So yeah, I hope you like the video. 
I hope you like my idea. Do uh, recommend your friends or someone who wants to try this effect. Like watch this video, they'll you know they get this effect and they'll also understand how to make this effect while getting another item that will make it easier to achieve this effect in a few minutes or seconds. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, goodbye.